What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I uh, wanted to do a follow up for my last video. The uh, top, top five time saving money making tools under 125. Well I got another one here. Top 10 under 50. So check it out right after this. So I put this list together, I got a couple new tools in, uh, I got about 9 or 10 here, I kind of went through, two or three of them are new, I have to say I, I got to give it up to Lyle, you know they make great tools, great time saving tools that uh, definitely get the job done for a really good price. Um, most of these tools I'll leave part numbers in the description, um, I might rattle off the price of them while I'm showing you guys, but I'll confirm the price, leave it in the description if you guys want to know how much these things are. If you guys use these tools, you guys definitely know what I'm talking about. Most of these tools I've been using for years. A lot of them I've replaced a few times, and uh, I just can't do my job without it. So I'm going to kick it off with a couple Lyles here. Uh, the first one I, I got is uh, the audio stethoscope. Uh, let me get up close. Part number 52700. Um, these are great for checking those uh, vacuum leaks under the hood, even exhaust leaks, you know, when it's too hot to get close to it. Kind of, you know, hook these up, get it up there, and it, it picks up vacuum really well. Um, great tool. Great tool made by Lyle. You also uh, could make one. I actually have. I've had these, this one for years. Just a piece of brake line with a hose on it. And basically just pretty much the same thing. Makeshift tool. You guys can make one, just a piece of hose and a piece of brake line, and then kind of get this down on there, and you can listen for vacuum lines with it. Uh, it kind of ties into uh, a stethoscope. This is the one, I got this one from Harbor Freight. I mostly use this one for checking ticking noises and knocking noises, maybe an upper end or lower end, um, you know, deciphering if it's a lifter or things like that, or, or, or a rod that's bad. Use these, cheap from Harbor Freight. Great tool though, you know, we are car doctors, so every doctor needs a stethoscope. So, great one there from Lyle. And then I got, and then I got another Lyle. We pretty much go through all the Lyles first. Uh, this next one is kind of a, a time shaver. Instead of fumbling around when you're checking those injectors and things like that, instead of fumbling around with the right size Noid light, they got the universal one. Lyle made a universal one. Looks like part number 27800, and it's pretty much, it's got a long lead on it. Um, you could kind of, uh, that thing goes back and forth so it fits in any of the terminals, and it's also got the bigger ones on there. Go in there, check, check your injectors and things like that. I've used these for other things too, checking wiper motors, you can kind of use it, use it as a test light also, but uh, great one by Lyle. I want to say this one comes in at maybe around 19 bucks, something like that, maybe a little over. Like I said, check the description if you guys want to know. I'll put all the part numbers in the description with the price. Um, some of this stuff I get on Amazon. You can probably find this stuff on Amazon. Another great one made by Lyle, time saver. Uh, checking the electrical, checking the dash work, things like that. You got to check that blower motor. You got the power probe. You don't feel like routing the line outside the car or underneath the hood. So this one's made by Lyle. It just plugs into the cigarette lighter. The light lights up to let you know you got power, and then you got a known good ground and a known good power. Great one, as long as, long as the fuse is good and the cigarette lighter works, great time saving tool. You hook your leads up to it, or even just a wire at that, alligator clips, jump a, jump a motor or a sensor off inside the car without having to run, run wires all the way through. Another great one. I want to say this was probably nine bucks on Amazon, made by Lyle. Another great one with Lyle, spark tester. You guys should have one of these. I mean, make quick work of checking spark when you got those no starts or misfires and all that stuff. Lyle makes a great one. Another $9 tool. And then I think last but not least, made by Lyle, the coolant funnel kit, the spill free. 
makes quick work of topping off the coolant systems, uh, especially if you don't have a, an airlift or you know the snap-on coolant fill. This one is, uh, is great. I've got tons of these. Lyle actually started putting the caps on them now. It looks like they came in more pieces now. When I bought them, they didn't have um, like the extension. They didn't have some of the elbows and some of the original ones I bought. Um, this one's like maybe 35 bucks. You get it on Amazon or maybe your tool guy has it or you find it on uh, find it online anywhere. About 35 bucks, maybe 40 bucks high end. But it comes great. Nice little uh, all wrapped into one. Nice little pouch. Everything so you don't lose it. Keep it organized. Organization is key. That's another great one. And then I got uh, these other ones are, you know, money making, time saving, basically, you know, it's gonna get the job done just as much as any other tool that costs more, but you get the job done cheaper and, and just as good. Um, got this memory saver I've had. I can't say I've used this a whole hell of a lot because I actually do have an expensive memory saver, but I think I found this one at AutoZone or Advance going through there one day. Um, just a nine volt battery. You hook it up to the cigarette lighter, maybe doing a battery so you don't lock the radio or lose the radio presets. Great little tool for a memory saver. And then I got this next one here, making quick work of checking contaminated brake fluid. I got two different kinds. I got the old kind I use, just takes a battery, basically two prongs in there, put it down into the master cylinder, you know, check for water intrusion or brake contamination. And then I got a newer tool made by DLG. Uh, they, make, they make battery testers, um, fluid testers. I got a little pamphlet I'm going to show you guys, but uh, this one's pretty cool. Basically, an LED screen. You turn it on, put it down in the master cylinder, and it tells you if it's contaminated or not, how much water's in it. Um, it beeps when it touches water. Just lick my finger there, you can see what it does. It does uh, dot three, dot four, and it looks like it does synthetic dot five, 5.1. Great tool, cheap tool too, maybe 28 bucks, 30 bucks. They also have ones with just the LED lights, but I like the ones with the, with the screen, and it's got a backlight on it. See it lights up underneath those dark hoods. Great tool, this is actually a really great company. The, uh, here's one of the flyers I got. Looks like they do definitely battery testing. They got uh, short short finder. They make short finders. Looks like you got a tr transmitter on there. So I'm not sure how much that thing runs. Mostly mostly battery checker. A digital manifold pressure tester. So check your map sensor and back pressure and all that stuff. But uh, cool company. Actually, just uh, found out about these guys. But uh, check them out if you guys are looking for stuff like that. Definitely a cheaper alternative to uh, some of those, uh, you know, Snap-on, Mag, Mag, and things like that. And then getting on the, the battery tester subject, I got the uh, Encel battery tester and checker. Uh, you know, makes quick work running out in the parking lot checking a battery. Um, it's pretty much step by step. You know, hook it up to the battery and it just step prompts you through the way. You put in uh, regular cold cranking amps, all that, and it runs a quick test on the battery. Make fast work of checking a battery out in the parking lot or just, you know, going over doing a vehicle check instead of breaking out the, the uh, Midtronics or something like that or the big bulky battery tester. This one's a uh, light pocket size handheld battery tester unit. This one's probably another $35 tool. Great. Probably find this on Amazon but another great internet find. And then I got another time saver money making tool. I know Lyle does make these. I don't believe I got these off a of while, but uh, make quick work of resetting the pistons on those calipers, doing brake jobs. You got the one for the dual piston here. You just squeeze it, it pushes the pistons back in. Better than breaking out a C-clamp or using a screwdriver or however, whatever you guys do to reset those pistons. But uh, great tools. These things are maybe 45 bucks on Amazon. I know Lyle does make them. Lyle has them for about 45 bucks. I'm not sure what brand these are. I think I got this from Cornwell or maybe Maco guy. Got these years ago. But great tools. Use these every day almost. Every great job I use these. Great tool, guys. So. 
So yeah, guys, just wanted to go over my top picks, you know, top 10, under 50, you know, for you guys out there, it's, you know, you don't have to spend a whole lot on tools to get the job done. You know, I mean, uh, you know, work smarter, not harder. You know, you don't have to blow a bunch of money on a battery test. You don't have to blow a bunch of money, you know, doing breaks or whatever it is that you do. You know, buy that tool that gets the job done, you know, within reason, within budget. And, you know, all the tools do is make you money. So it doesn't matter the cost of the tools. It matters how much money that tool makes you. But as always, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already. I appreciate all the love and support on the channel. Um, leave me a comment underneath. Let me know if you guys got any of these tools or thinking about getting these tools. Read the descriptions. If you guys are interested in any of these tools, I'll list them all down there. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Don't forget about the tool giveaway coming up. We got about another week, week left, maybe a week and a half for September's tool giveaway. Make sure you guys don't miss out on that. And we will check you guys in the next video. Signing out.